Hi, this is Isabella from Vera Solutions, and in this video, I'll give you an overview of the project setup features of AMP Impact. The project setup features in AMP Impact allow organizations to set up projects with key data to facilitate management and reporting, and to lay the foundations for the use of other AMP Impact features. During this video, we'll walk through components of project setup, which include project details, geographic areas, thematic areas, reporting periods, project roles, organizational roles, and modifications. To see the project setup feature in action, let's walk through an example. In this example, we're leveraging the AMP Impact project object to capture program or project level data. In this list view, we see some high level information about our projects, including funding information, dates, and the SDGs each project is contributing to. Let's look at the Removing the Barriers project. On the Details tab, we can view detailed information related to the project, including the status, the related program, the primary implementer, related SDGs, important dates and funding information for the project, as well as an overall narrative description of the project. On the Setup tab, we can define some other key attributes of the project some of which will be critical for other AMP impact features, such as indicated targets and results. In the system, we've used Vera's many-to-many -many product to streamline the user experience of adding geographic areas and thematic areas to a project. We can add geographic areas to a project from a standard list of geographies to indicate where the project is being implemented. These geographic areas can be at various administrative levels, such as country, district, village, and can be customized based on an organization's needs. These project geographic area records play a vital role when entering in target and result data for indicators. We can also tag the project with one or more thematic areas that our organization works towards, such as gender justice, Thematic areas can optionally have a set of required indicators, so we can automatically add these standard indicators to a project by tagging it with thematic areas. Reporting periods define the reporting schedule for a project, which can include narrative reporting on activities, reporting financials, and indicator targets and results. These reporting periods can be at various frequencies, depending on the project. In this example, we have baseline, quarterly, and annual reporting. We can leverage the Generate Reporting Periods button to quickly and easily create reporting periods in bulk for the project. To see this feature in action, let's navigate to the Early Childhood Development Project that doesn't have any reporting periods. The start and end dates are automatically populated from the dates entered on the project record that can be edited. Report due after date is automatically set at 15 days and can be updated if required. Let's select quarterly and annual reporting frequencies. Finally, we will mark do project indicators have baseline data as true to enable baseline reporting for indicators. As you can see, we have effectively created reporting periods in bulk. Navigating back to our Removing the Barriers project, next we have project roles, which allow us to track the individuals who are playing a key internal and external roles on the project, such as a project manager or an m and officer. Next, we can create organization roles to track organizations that are contributing to a project in various capacities, such as implementing partner or funder. Finally, we can use modifications through the lifecycle of a project to track the proposed and or confirmed changes to a project, such as a no cost extension or a revision of indicators. Thank you for watching. For more information about AMP Impact, please reach out to us at infoadverisolutions.org or visit our website at ampimpact.org.